So we're only a few days into the Russia-Ukraine conflict, and it's already completely out of control propaganda-wise. Leftists are losing their minds and sharing obviously false stuff everywhere to cope with the fact that Russia appears to be winning with ease. I mean, if you can breach a country's capital city within two days, you're most certainly winning. Particularly funny is this blubbering crybaby Adam Kizinga, who has in his bio on Twitter, he is aggressively calling out conspiracy theories. Unless they're conspiracy theories he wants to show on Twitter, like the Ghost of Kiev meme, which you used obvious footage from a video game and then claimed this video was of a Ukrainian fighter pilot single-handedly shooting down five Russian planes in a helicopter. I mean, so fucking stupid. Even the fact checkers had to debunk it, even though it was their side's propaganda. But Kinzinger posted it anyway. Oh, and he doesn't stop there. Earlier on today, he was sharing a touching photo of Ukrainian troops being saluted by two patriotic kids. Ah, oh, that's a nice touching wartime picture, isn't it? Well, it would be if that photo wasn't for a parade in two 2016. <laughs> Whoops. Then you've got deranged idiots who have never been in any kind of war situation and can only think in terms of cartoons because they're Redditors, giving out great advice like filling a water balloon with paint and throwing it at a tank to disable it. Well, good luck getting near enough to a tank to throw water balloons at it, you fucking idiots. And then we have weirdos who have destroyed their brains with rampant consumerism so badly they can understand things if they translate them into Star Wars movies. The left is solely populated by stunted children. It's really quite hilarious hilarious and disturbing to see. But who is most affected by this war? The people who die in battle and their loved ones maybe? The people who have to pick up the pieces of a war-torn country perhaps? Well of course not. Don't be silly, it's Redditors and their wives' boyfriends in America and NPR published some tips on how to cope with reading the news as the reality of conflict that has nothing to do with you is always a shock to the system apparently. One of their tips is telling an NPC to remember to breathe if they're pretending to have a panic attack over words on a screen. So, we've established Established that the left is the most self-centered, weird set of children who have to self-insert themselves into everything instead of just taking information on board about somebody else's struggles. You know, like a regular person. These people lack the function of being able to understand someone else's plight unless it's made into their plight because they're sociopaths and only care about themselves. So what else can they do to get maximum attention for themselves? How about banning Russian vodka? In Ontario, Canada, Finance Minister Peter, however the fuck you say that last name, started it off with the quest for good boy points on the internet by directing the liquor county board to tell stores to remove all Russian vodka, to own Russia I suppose, and to stand up against authoritarianism. Hmm. I seem to remember Canada being pretty fond of authoritarianism not that long ago. But anything for that sweet attention, eh? Many stars in Canada also followed suit. In America, some guy or girl named Jamie Stratton, who is a partner at the Jacob Liquor Exchange, said to reporters when asked why she was pouring all of their vodka down the drain, I guess this is our chance for free advertising. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm putting words in their mouth there. I guess this is our sanction. And this may be small, but every small thing makes a difference. Every small thing makes a difference, eh? Shall I tell you what small thing makes no difference. When you've all already paid for the vodka, you fucking idiots, you're just throwing away your own possessions. Never say the left isn't full of intellectuals. So this meme war is the gift that keeps on giving, and we are not even a week in. These people are already completely hysterical and insane. It is crazy. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, bye.